hi everyone we're back on another monday and yes i always say the same thing of it's been a whole week and how time flies but it seriously does it feels like that every time i come around to doing these videos i'm like wow where did that week go um and that's an interesting uh observation actually because I think there was a time when these weeks just felt like they dragged out for quite some time so yeah it's um a nice observation to be making actually at this point it means that my weeks are being spent in a way where I'm pretty much enjoying myself most of the time um for me to feel like the time is flying because that's often what we say don't we when time flies when you're having fun so clearly my most of my time not all of it but most of it has been quite enjoyable um what kind of things have i been up to so last week i had a couple of sessions with a friend i think i've mentioned before her name's Becky Stanton, she's a mindset coach, so I had a couple of sessions with her last week which were really interesting and brought up more things for me to, yeah, like raise, or like for me to kind of work on obviously going forward and um, yeah, like just notice why, because there's days, I think today is actually a good day to discuss this. So one of the topics that came up, which I'm noticing is kind of present in my day to day, is having resistance in life. And... What I mean by that for me is basically not wanting to do something and the resistance is there for a reason, not wanting to do it or it could even be feelings related, not wanting to feel that feeling. What is that about? Like, why does that happen? And we often just a we don't notice that it's there so completely numb to the fact because the connection to how you're feeling hasn't really been developed so that could be one of the ways in which people deal even though they're you know not aware of it it's actually going on but they're not dealing b you have it but you don't really want to do anything about it and I think there's been times in my life where I've had that resistance not wanting to do something but not really taking the time to understand where it's coming from and why I feel that way and uh, then there's I think where I'm at which is understanding that this resistance is there because of <clears throat> dot 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 um, and then there's times when I'm like today um, I know that things are pretty much good like there's nothing really horribly wrong with my life right now however I just didn't feel motivated I just didn't feel like it's almost like I, I didn't really feel like I was ready for the week to arrive I think I was still in weekend mode when I woke up. I still felt like rolling around in bed for a little while, but I knew I had to get to something online. 
an online meeting as things are these days and you know kind of get going basically so that I can make it um but there was this kind of like dragging my feet I think that's the way another way of describing the resistance I experienced just dragging my feet along a little bit and I'm not forcing I don't think I, I used to do that I'm not forcing myself to do these things because a part of me really wants to but then there's another part of me which is like oh I could just stay in bed a little bit longer so yeah that's the kind of resistance that I've been experiencing today and it's kind of only until maybe this afternoon that it's melting away a little bit I think that's a word that kind of fits where I'm at with it and um, yeah like what came up last week was um, you know when like you feel you don't want to do something so then you look for something else to kind of fill the time for instance I don't feel like working on my um, my social media or I don't feel like researching what bank account I need to set up for this whole business side of things and so thoughts obviously turn to well what else could I be doing well, how else could I be filling my time and then I just end up I don't know sorting something out or watching TV basically not doing that that task and you know like allowing myself to you know for instance if it's watching TV it's fine you know just just do that if that's what all you want to do right now and then when I chatted further with Becky what came up was actually that could just be she terms it the mean girl the mean girl going it's all right just you know take a rest or watch tv or you know do this do that that's fine because you've been working really hard and um as she was talking about these things i was like well yeah like i'm okay with the mean girl doing that for me basically that's kind of where i'd got to with with it for part of the conversation but then i noticed because I, what i said was like the resistance is actually if i didn't have a the resistance feels like it's human nature that we all carry this resistance with us of not wanting to do certain things in life um so how is it possible just to be able to completely let go of this resistance and release it when it's so intrinsic to who we are and um to make it personal b if it wasn't for my resistance of you know I'm being unhappy with where I was at before it wouldn't have given me the push that I needed to go in a different direction so I was actually grateful for it and um, and then what she pointed out was you're um, giving it purpose instead of like say if you just feel like watching TV we just feel like having a lie down and say if it's kind of born out of the resistance you're giving it purpose by allowing yourself to do those things instead of just going I don't need my resistance to give me that permission I can give myself the permission to do x y and z and then later on in the conversation I then realized that I had resistance to the resistance and it was like like mind-blowing that I had been walking around like that thinking that I you know have this resistance in life and I've given it purpose and um, and then the resistance to really let it go because then 
that would just be me giving myself full permission to do these things that are more like downtime things. Um, so, yeah, like that was a complete revelation to me. And I think we all do this. We all, you know, don't feel like doing something. And then, you know, kind of, it's almost like, you know, that term of getting stuck in a rut. Like that's what it feels like sometimes for me at least is I'm it's like a you know kind of like a dense feeling if I were to give it like a, a description so you're doing the thing so say if I'm watching tv but I'm just feeling quite heavy inside and even after I've allowed myself that time of watching tv I still feel heavy afterwards so that means that there's that you know I think what I said to her was, I just feel like I've, you know, not been productive in that time and I've let myself down. And um, that's obviously the not giving yourself full permission to do something. And again, it, it's kind of come up for me today, like, you know, waking up in this, oh, I can't be bothered. I don't want to, like, do anything. I just feel like, because we had quite a busy weekend and it was quite full on and I think there was just this kind of oh you know if we call it the mean girl or you want to call it the ego whatever the self-critic um it's okay just breathe you've had a busy weekend just let yourself rest you know you deserve it because you had a full-on weekend and um it's so easy to fall into that trap of listening to that voice and going with it. But I think what I'm getting at here is that if you do that, you'll notice actually that when you're allowing yourself to do whatever it is that you feel like doing, it doesn't make you feel any better. If anything, it makes you feel worse when you continue doing it. And after you've done it, you're just like, well, I thought that was going to make me feel better and it doesn't and um because I'd had you know that conversation in my mind uh, was quite you know at the forefront of my mind when I was feeling that way when I woke up this morning and as I got, got on with my day I um yeah I was like thinking okay is it is me just you know because I tend to start my day lounging around a little bit if I'm honest um, because it takes me time sometimes to get into my day and um, as I was lounging around like having my breakfast and I like watching Queer Eye um, or you know something that's kind of gonna set me in that mood that I'm looking for in the day and I always find that that show tends to do that for me recently so yeah like I noticed like this little voice or not voice but just this kind of, you know, it's okay, just let yourself do that if that's what you want to do because you've had a busy weekend and you're feeling tired, you know, um, and then I attended the meeting that I had and during that I was kind of like, oh, I feel a bit tired, I don't really want to be here, but I want to at the same time and um, yeah, like that kind of feeling just continued and and I felt like it was, yeah, like what I wanted to say was that because of having had that conversation with my friend last week, um, I was then starting to question, is this me really wanting to do these things or is it actually, you know, that part, that self-critic within me that is like, it's okay. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm actually grateful for that awareness now because I can then take a step back and actually go well why am I doing this is it gonna make me feel better or is it just gonna feel you know am I gonna feel crappy afterwards but I'm still playing with that I think because I've got used to the it's okay give yourself that you know a little break or do this or do that I've got used to that so 
it's kind of having to retrain the way you behave because you know that sometimes it's not really serving you. So, yeah. And that's been... Because it was, it was a revelation, a huge revelation for me. So, um, I know it's going to take me a bit of time to work through that. And today I had opportunities, like I was given um, opportunities just to feel my way through it. And eventually by the afternoon, what happened was I had um, a client in the afternoon to work with. And as part of the coaching that I do, there's a real connection to your body. And as the coach, because you're guiding that person through, you also, without meaning to or meaning to, connect with yourself. It's a very mindful approach um, that I use, uh, which I've learned on my course called Focusing. And I noticed as I was guiding my client through this particular um, approach that I was then able to connect more with my body and, and my body was like feeling it, it came to a state of calm actually by the end of the session because not only had I helped my client but I'd, I'd also given myself space to be a lot more present and a lot more in tune with what's going on with me internally, you know, getting out of my mind and into my body and also enabling my client to do that too, which was really quite enlightening. And um, we then got, just before we, we ended the session, he mentioned how, you know, he's wanted to connect more with his body because he can see the value of doing that from just, you know, having had a few sessions with me. And, um, you know, like meditation, like, wants to do that more. And um, I said to him, like, you know, often we think meditation is, you know, this zen-like pose where you're able to sit with quite a lot of composure and, you know, try and block out thoughts that enter your mind and enter your body and, you know, Put up this wall almost you know some people might describe it in a different way but this is kind of one of the ways that I've looked at meditation for a very long time and then I started doing it myself and realized it's none of that and then when I've done it without meaning to as well I think that's the the times when I've really connected with myself and the times that those have happened is when I'm just out on a walk I've gone for a walk around my local park and then I've sat myself down on a bench and, you know, just closed my eyes, taking my glasses off normally and, you know, just allowed myself to just be in the moment and I described, like, the same thing to him basically and I said, you don't have to be doing all of that, you know, meditation, is obviously it's a label we give lots of labels to things in life and it's just another label. Um, and you can make, you can do it in a way that works for you. So, and I describe like what I do and I know that he's quite connected to nature. Like he likes being in the outdoors as well. And as I was describing it to him, I was thinking that's exactly what I want to do. I actually want to just take myself out on a walk and I, what it, what it also did was made me realise that the whole weekend I haven't had a walk and I do like to go for my walks. That's one of the, the habits that I've got into since being 
in this phase that I'm in. Um, obviously doing a lot of dog walking, but doing walks which are just me, like not with someone or with the dog, just me and just, yeah, movement of the body, you know, looking around, obviously, observing what's going on in your external environment, but also becoming a lot more connected to what's going on internally in your internal environment. And then getting to a place where I feel like, yeah, I, I just want to sit and I just want to close my eyes. And um, what I love about being in the outdoors when I do this kind of meditation is the the wind, the breeze, like today is being quite a breezy day and I find that it's actually, it's easier when the weather and the elements are like that for me, like I actually, I have sat out on a bench when it's completely raining, like cats and dogs and you know, even when it's drizzling or even when it's really gusty, because I find when I'm in the elements they remind me to be a lot more in the present moment and not so much in my head and in my thoughts like they it's almost like a anchor actually they anchor me back into the present moment and yeah like as I was saying all of this some of this to him um I was like that's where I want to be right now that's what I want to be doing right now so I took myself out on a walk and basically just did all of that and yeah if it wasn't for actually taking those steps I'm not even sure if I would have made this video because today has been one of those days where I'm just feeling my energy levels are quite low and I was like do I really want to be and I've referred to this in a previous video like do I want to be showing up like this but I remembered what I said in that video of this isn't about, you know, being all yay and full of energy and, you know, looking forward to something and feeling excited about something. This is just a, a channel in which I can, you know, share my thoughts and experiences of life and I guess what was being called for me today to share was that yeah connecting with the body and taking that time to just be within yourself and you know yeah like just moment of silence actually like that couldn't have happened at a better time, that pause. Just taking a pause, actually, and being with that, and, you know, things will come up in that pause, but just sitting through it and allowing yourself to sit through it, giving yourself that permission. So, yeah. And on that note, I think I will wrap it up here. And as a leaving thought, perhaps ask, maybe not ask, but just encourage anyone who's watching this to think about how they allow themselves on the days where they're feeling you know I just don't feel like doing this or you know lacking that motivation I just encourage you to connect more with yourself and just sit in that moment and be in that moment, just be there, nowhere else, not thinking about why am I lacking this motivation, 
why don't I feel like doing this? Not thinking about, you know, what else I could be doing right now, but just being in that moment and allowing yourself to completely submerge in it. Even if it's just for like 30 seconds. And what I noticed since having come back from that walk, because I had a bit of a tension headache, kind of get like the temples up here tend to start making a bit of noise for me when I'm feeling this way. So just notice the changes as well when you allow yourself to just sit or just stop in your tracks and pause and be in that moment and nowhere else. Just notice what happens in the rest of your body because there's a lot that our body can share with us if we enable it to. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for tuning in and hope that's of some help if you're having a day like I have been having today or, you know, wherever you're at. Um, yeah, I will see you next week for another episode and let's see where I'm at that time round. All right, take care.